Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Tanika, and today I am going to be talking about the new designer brands Melodrama 10 piece brush set. If you haven't heard of designer brands, they are an Australian brand available at Chemis. You can also shop online if you are international. They are vegan and cruelty free and everything is priced within a pretty affordable range. So these brushes are synthetic. You get five face brushes and five eye brushes and the set retails for $30. It comes packaged in this purple brush roll just here and before we get into demoing the brushes and testing them out, I'm just going to go through them one by one and show you exactly what it comes with. First up we have the angled contour brush and this one is described as being the perfect brush for defining features with seamless blending. So the angled shape here is really good for getting in the contours of the cheeks. I also really like brushes like this for applying my blush as well. Next up we have the large powder slash blush brush and this one is described as being ideal for creating an all over glow or precise blush application. Next up we have the foundation slash buffing brush and this one is described as having dense bristles that allow for flawless foundation application. Next we have the tapered powder brush and this one has fluffy dome shaped bristles and it says that it can be used for applying your blush, your bronzer, your contour, your powder. It's really a multi-use brush. And lastly for the face brushes we have the illuminating slash fan brush and this one is for applying your highlighter. Then onto the eye brushes, first up is the eyeshadow blending brush and this is just a nice big fluffy brush. This one is really good for blending out colors in the crease and diffusing any harsh lines. Next we have the deluxe crease brush and this one also has nice fluffy bristles but as you can see it's a bit more flat than the previous brush. The next brush is just called the eyeshadow brush and this is simply a flat shading brush. Really good for applying shimmers or cream shadows to the lid. Next is the liner brush and this one is specifically for doing wing liner using a gel product. And then lastly we have the ultimate brow brush. This is a duo ended brush. One side you've got your spoolie and the other side you've got nice short dense bristles for applying your brow product. Alright so they are the 10 brushes that come in the collection. If you want to see them in use then just keep watching. I'm going to apply some makeup and give you my reviews. Alright let's start with the base. I've already gone ahead and just applied some concealer to some of my really red pimples. I'm going to be using a designer brands foundation. This is the luminous hydrating foundation. Now I have two shades here, true ivory and porcelain ivory. True ivory is so, so fair. It's too fair for me, but then porcelain ivory is too dark. So I mix the two together. I'll just show you what they look like individually. So the really fair one is true ivory and the other is porcelain. So as you can see, there is a bit of a difference between the two, but mixing them together creates a good shade for me. So I'm going to be starting out with the foundation buffing brush and this is your typical kabuki brush. It doesn't feel as dense as some others that I have in my collection, but let's give it a go and see if it does the job. So with these style brushes, I usually like to pat or like dab the foundation into my skin because this brush isn't as dense or the bristles aren't like super, super tight. It is bending a little bit, but it's actually giving a really nice application. It's not leaving a lot of streak marks and because it is a little bit more, not flimsy, but it moves a bit more. It is really, really soft and gentle on the skin, which I really like. I'm just going to put another layer of the foundation on. This foundation is so full coverage and so dewy. It leaves such a beautiful finish. I really, really love it. 
If you want me to do a full review on this foundation, then just let me know and I will. I've just gone ahead and applied some concealer. So now to set under my eyes, I'm going to go in with the tapered powder brush. This is the one that I said could be used for various different things, including blush, bronzer, contour, the list goes on. And by the way, every brush actually has the name written on the handle, which is handy. Handy handle. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Okay, I'm just going to dip this in some loose powder and get up under my eyes there. Okay, so that brush works well for under the eyes. It's super, super soft and flexible, so you can get right up in the inner corner there. Blend it out on your nose. Very good, very good. I'm going to use this again later as well. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the powder slash blush brush. So this is the nice big fluffy one. I'm just going to rub that in my powder and then set my face. All right, well, this one feels really nice and fluffy on the skin. It definitely only gives you that light layer of powder you need to set your foundation. If you did want to apply your powder a bit heavier, I would probably use the one I used under my eyes because you can pack it on a bit more. Whereas this one is just like a light, a little dusting. Okay, next I'm going in with the angled contour brush and I'm going to contour. It picks up the product quite well. As you can see there on the brush, I'm just going to tap it off a bit. Okay, so these bristles do feel a little bit more dense, really precise application. I think this brush would also work well if you were blending out a cream contour or bronzer. To apply my bronzer, I'm going back in with the tapered powder brush that I used under my eyes. This brush is actually giving me similar vibes to my favorite bronzer brush, the Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish. Let me just compare them. So you see how they're both tapered at the bottom here, but then come out to a nice big fluffy head. Mmm, a little bit of competition. All right, well that applied the bronzer really nicely and it's evenly diffused. Now for blush, I could really use any one of these three brushes. It just depends what you prefer. I'm going to go in with the nice big powder brush. I'm not used to using such a big brush for applying my blush. It did diffuse really nicely, but next time I think I'm going to try the brush that I used for my bronzer. I just like that it's smaller. I feel like I can get the blush right where I want it. And because it's nice and fluffy on top, it's going to blend it out. All right, highlighter. We've got our highlighting fan brush. So one of the first things I noticed about this fan brush is that it is a lot longer than a lot of my others. So here are some other fan brushes I have in my collection and this is the designer brands. So see how the bristles are just a lot longer? It makes the brush a bit more flexible. So let's see how it applies the highlighter. So because the bristles on this one are a lot longer, it's giving me a softer, more diffused highlighting look. All right, for brows, I've got the dual ended brush here. Let's start by combing them up. Lately, I've really liked just running a brow gel through my brows first before I fill them in because it just tints all those blonde hairs and gives me a bit more of a shape to work with.
Okay, so I'm using my NYX Eyebrow Cake in the shade Blonde. Now, I think this brush might be a little bit too thick. I'll just have a look at it there. I would prefer something a bit more thin so you can be more precise, but I'll give it a go. And if I'm not liking it, I'm actually going to go in with the Wing Liner Brush because this one is super, super thin. Let's just compare the two. So it works okay in the front of the brow where it is thicker. Let's see how it goes in the tail end though. All right, it's doing okay. I'm still going to go in with the wing liner brush and take the darker shadow just so I can be more precise. I definitely enjoy the wing liner brush better, so I'm going to do the other brow with that. So then if you wanted to go ahead and use this brush now for wing liner, a great product to have in your collection is an instant brush cleaner. So for example, I have this one here by Mecca Max and it is the Power Tool Brush Refresh Mist. So all you do is get a cotton pad, spray some on, get your brush. It's kind of hard to show you. There we go. And just swirl it around and it instantly cleans your brush. So there we go. No more product left on that. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and use this for my wing liner. All right, now let's get into these eyeshadow brushes. I'm going to go in with a Designer Brands eyeshadow palette, considering I'm talking about Designer Brands. All right, so I'm going to use the Make It Mauve palette. This one has some really, really beautiful shades. Starting out with the eyeshadow blending brush, I'm going to dip into this color here. Oh, that picks up pigment well. Right, so far, I'm loving it. It's packing the color on well, blending it out really easily. And the brush is a really good size for fitting in my crease here. Next, I'm taking the Deluxe Crease Brush. And before I use this to deepen up the crease on the top of my lid, I'm going to take it with the same shade I just used and run it under my lower lash line. That is literally the perfect size. Love it. It actually reminds me of a few brushes in my collection. The Zoeva 227 and the Sigma E25. So if I put them all next to each other. So on the end, we've got the designer brands. In the middle is Zoeva and on this end is the Sigma. As you can see, they are all flat but then the top is nice and fluffy. Really, really good brushes. Okay, I'm going in with that same brush and I'll be taking this deeper burgundy shade. And just with a little bit of that, I'm going to pop it onto my outer corner and blend it through the crease. So I'm not going to take this one up as high and the shape of this brush really helps to do that. So look at that, you can see already the deepness through my crease. Wow. And then again, to diffuse the edges, back in with the fluffy brush. All right, so I also wanna put that shade under my lower lash line, but because I don't want it to be as smoky as the first shade, I'm going back in with this wing liner brush taking a little bit of that deep shadow, and this way I can get it nice and close to the lash line. And 
And then I'll go back in with the first brush we used and help to blend that out. All right, and then I'm going to take a mix of these two pink shimmers and I'll be using the eyeshadow brush, which is just the flat shader and putting this on my eyelid where I've left that blank space. Ooh, okay, that picks up product really well. Let's see how it applies. I might use some Fix Plus, we'll see. Yeah, I think a little bit of liquid will help this. So, got some on the brush. And then to blend the shimmer and the matte back together, I'm going back in with the deluxe crease. A little bit of that deeper maroon and just pat that over the edges and blend it out. How pretty is that lid shade? I'm impressed. All right, well, I am just wiping off any excess shadow onto a cotton pad. Now I'm going in with the lighter pink shade and I'm going to use that to highlight the brow bone. Ooh, I'll start with the inner corner and then I'll see if it's light enough to do the brow bone. Yeah, I'll put a little bit up there. Okay, so this brush is a little bit different to some of the shader brushes I have in my collection, but it's because it's synthetic. The brus the brussels. <laughs> the bristles are super dense and tightly packed. It's a really good brush for packing on the shimmer, especially when I wet it. I found it was really easy to use because it is so dense. It's really, really precise. All right, let me put on some mascara and lipstick and I'll be right back. All right, well, they were all the brushes put to the test. Overall, I am pretty happy with them. The eye brushes were definitely a standout for me. Brushes can be quite a big investment, so it's nice to see more affordable brands coming out with brushes that are actually good quality and do the job. If you're just getting into makeup or wanna dabble in a few different other brands brushes, then I would definitely recommend these ones, especially for the price. I mean, $30 for 10 brushes, you're getting a whole range. And as you saw, one brush just doesn't have to have one use. You can use them all for different things and it's totally fine. If you enjoyed watching today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about designer brands, then I will have their website linked down below. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.